Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. NBA action for Tuesday, March 16th, 2021 on this report. A couple of quick notes before we get to the free play. You can get a college basketball free pick video from me available right now uh, on my YouTube page over at DocSports.com. We're talking a little bit of Thursday first four or uh, play-in game action, if you will. Uh, that's up available right now. We'll also have some videos up on Tuesday night. Doug Upstone and I are going to cut a couple of Tuesday afternoon videos for Thursday and Friday first round, excuse me, Friday and Saturday first round action uh, in the big dance. So you can check that out on Tuesday night. And of course, we'll have daily videos here in the NBA. Also wanted to mention, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, fantastic day yesterday with our premium plays. In fact, uh, last couple of days in the NBA, we are a perfect 4-0, 100%, up $1,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Uh, last night, that included a six-star win with our sweep. That was with the Denver Nuggets. Uh, we also won the smaller play last night, three-star with the Charlotte Hornets. But 4-0 the last couple of days, up $1,500. We started an NBA run before the All-Star break, and we've continued the run since the teams began to play again second half of the season and we're now on an 82 percent winning nba run that began uh, before the all-star break big play action going on on tuesday over on my homepage at docsports.com i've got a rare nba seven star play a seven star side uh, and it's available on my homepage at docsports.com on tuesday uh, we'll look to go to five and oh the last three days if this one cashes and go up twenty two hundred dollars for one hundred dollar per unit better so top play release on uh, in the nba on tuesday you can check it out if you wish on my homepage at DocSports.com. Also wanted to mention we cashed again last night in the NHL. We are now 65% in our current NHL run, up $2,550 on the ice. I do have a Tuesday side. You can check that out on my homepage. Uh, passed yesterday in soccer, but we're back in action on Tuesday. Got an afternoon play on Tuesday's card, a plus money release. Uh, we are up almost $2,900 going all the way back to February 1st. So more than a month now, a month and a half, we've been on this run and we're up almost $2,900 in soccer. So as you can see, a lot going on for Tuesday as we await college basketball action. But again, the star of the show for me on Tuesday, seven star play in the NBA. All right, let's get to our free play in the NBA for Tuesday night. It is the matchup between the Knicks and the Sixers. The Knicks played last night. They covered the spread. Unfortunately, we went against them with our free play. Uh, that was the only thing we didn't win yesterday was the free play. Uh, but we looked to bounce back. Going against them again for the second straight night. Uh, listen, I know Philly doesn't have Joel Embiid. We get that. It's kind of been baked into this number as far as we are concerned. They played extremely well without Embiid the other night. On March 14th, they played uh, against San Antonio. They were able to win the game by 35 points. We think they can, they can continue uh, playing well, at least for this particular game. They're going up against a Knicks team that doesn't play a lot of defense. They're 23rd in defensive efficiency, while Philly, you know, top five. I think they're second right now in NBA defensive efficiency. That may eventually take a hit. They may drop a couple of runs uh, without Embiid in the lineup, but uh, for this game, I do like him here. And don't forget, New York has some bumps and bruises of their own. They came back last night, put up a big effort to come back from double-digit deficit to actually cover the spread last night. They took the straight-up loss. I just don't like them in this particular spot. Uh, they have covered just one of their last eight in Philadelphia, and they have not been too hot against the spread against teams uh, that have a winning straight-up record, which is the case, obviously, for Philadelphia heading into this one. And the Sixers have covered five straight. I think they make it six straight. Free play on Tuesday. The Sixers minus the points over the Knicks. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Don't forget to star the show for me on Tuesday. Red Hot in the NBA. Let's stay that way with the seven-star play. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put him in the win column on Tuesday.